Hello there, everybody. Thank you for checking out this video. My name's Tommy from Reticulated Media. I was just mixing a song for a client. I was about to do very simple technique that I use a lot, and I figured I might as well show you guys uh, what it is, and that is making side inserts. Let's just give, uh, give this a little bit of a listen so far. I'm not anywhere near done this, but, uh, you know, let's just uh, check what we got. One, two. This song is written and tracked by uh, one of my fantastic clients, Lucas. Dude has an absolutely beautiful voice. Um, so let's uh, let's solo let's solo his vocal and see what we can do with it. You left yourself behind in so many places. Got lost in the crowd with all the other faces. Beautiful, beautiful voice. But um, I think it sounds right now like it's kind of just sitting on top of everything, uh, which is something that we don't really want with this type of music. We want everything to be fluid and cohesive. So what we're going to do, like I was saying earlier, is a side insert. So... All that really means is that we are going to be making an additional track and its sole purpose is just to have the effect um, by itself kind of deal. So if that doesn't make any sense, hopefully uh, we can make it make sense uh, because I'm about to show you. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert another track. And then, see, I have my vocal bus here. This is where all the vocals are coming out. So now I just inserted this. Let's call this insert vocal verb. Okay? So we have our vocal bus and the insert vocal verb. So when we play it back. Behind just comes in so here. many places. Because we haven't routed anything to this yet. And routing, uh, all that means is just kind of where things are plugged in and sent to. Um, so for instance, all these vocal tracks here are routed out through this vocal bus, meaning that they all run through it. So, we have this little routing thing here. So it says sends, receives, and hardware output options. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and this little window pops up. So we're going to click add new send. And the new send is going to go to the new track we just made, insert vocal verb. All right. So we'll press play. Behind in so many places. Now we have the signal being split to here so it's coming out of the vocal bus and that same signal is being pushed through this insert okay so when we play behind in so many places God. so now what we're gonna do i want to put some room reverb on the vocal just to kind of glue it into everything and with reverbs or any plugin for that matter, it's really easy to overdo it and kind of, for lack of a better term, ruin the takes that you have. Uh, now back to it. So, as I was saying, I'm gonna put a reverb on this. I love using the kilohertz because it doesn't take up much CPU. The UI is very basic and straightforward. All right, so I love this preset, long and dark. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to change the setting on this to 100% wet. What does that mean? 
Okay, so your unprocessed signal um, will be referred to as dry. And wet just means how much of the processed signal you're going to hear. Since this is a side insert, I want only all of the wet signal to come out of this. So none of the dry signal from this vocal bus is going to come out here. It, it is just going to be the reverb effect itself by its lonesome on this fader. So now we'll uh, listen back. Why do we do this? Many reasons, but number one for myself, um, I find it's really easy to wash out your plugins by putting too much stuff on it. Um, and just like any aspect of mixing, you're going to want as much control over it as you can have. You left yourself behind in so many places. Got lost in the crowd with all the other faces. Couldn't turn you around if I tried. All right. So now let's hear that with the insert muted, and then I'm gonna unmute it so you can hear the difference. You left yourself behind in so many places. Got lost in the crowd with all the other faces. And that, my friends, is doing a side insert. You can do it for many, many things, such as parallel compression, side insert delays. Really, like, the options are endless. So I hope you learned something with this, and I hope you can apply it to your mixes. Let me know in the comments below uh, if this was helpful. If there's anything that you want me to touch on, anything at all, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm Tommy from Articulated Media. Peace out.